Emotional intelligence (EI), emotional leadership (L), emotional quotient (EQ), and emotional intelligence quotient (EIQ) is the capability of individuals to recognize their own emotions and those of others, discern between different feelings and label them appropriately, use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior, and manage and or adjust emotions to adapt to environments or achieve one's goals. Although the term first appeared in a 1964 paper by Michael Beldick, it gained popularity in the 1995 book by that title, written by author and science journalist Daniel Goleman. Since this time, EI, and Goleman's 1995 analysis, have been criticized within the scientific community. Despite prolific reports of its usefulness in the popular press, empathy is typically associated with EI, because it relates to an individual connecting their personal experiences with those of others. However, a number of models exist that aim to measure levels of empathy EI. There are currently several models of EI. Goleman's original model may now be considered a mixed model that combines what has since been modeled separately as ability EI and trait EI. Goleman defined EI as the array of skills and characteristics that drive leadership performance. The trait model was developed by Konstantinos V. Petrides in 2001. It encompasses behavioral dispositions and self-perceived abilities and is measured through self-report. The ability model, developed by Peter Salovey and John Mayer in 2004, focuses on the individual's ability to process emotional information and use it to navigate the social environment. Studies have shown that people with high EI have greater mental health, job performance, and leadership skills, although no causal relationships have been shown, and such findings are likely to be attributable to general intelligence and specific personality traits rather than emotional intelligence as a construct. For example, Goleman indicated that EI accounted for 67% of the abilities deemed necessary for superior performance in leaders, and mattered twice as much as technical expertise or IQ. Other research finds that the effect of EI on leadership and managerial performance is non-significant when ability and personality are controlled for, and that general intelligence correlates very closely with leadership. Markers of EI and methods of developing it have become more widely coveted in the past decade, by whom, in addition, studies have begun to provide evidence to help characterize the neural mechanisms of emotional intelligence. Criticisms have centered on whether EI is a real intelligence and whether it has incremental validity over IQ and the Big Five personality traits. Topic: History. The term, emotional intelligence, seems first to have appeared in a 1964 paper by Michael Beldick, and in the 1966 paper by B. Luna entitled Emotional Intelligence and Emancipation, which appeared in the psychotherapeutic journal Practice of Child Psychology and Child Psychiatry. In 1983, Howard Gardner's Frames of Mind, the theory of multiple intelligences, introduced the idea that traditional types of intelligence, such as IQ, fail to fully explain cognitive ability. He introduced the idea of multiple intelligences which included both interpersonal intelligence the capacity to understand the intentions, motivations and desires of other people and intrapersonal intelligence the capacity to understand oneself, to appreciate one's feelings, fears and motivations. The term subsequently appeared in Wayne Payne's doctoral thesis, A Study of Emotion, Developing Emotional Intelligence in 1985, the first published use of the term EQ emotional quotient is an article by Keith Beasley in 1987 in the British Mensa magazine. In 1989, Stanley Greenspan put forward a model to describe EI, followed by another by Peter Salovey and John Mayer, published in the following year. However, the term became widely known with the publication of Goleman's book Emotional Intelligence: Why It Can Matter More Than IQ, 1995. It is to this book's best-selling status that the term can attribute its popularity. Goleman has followed up with several further popular publications of a similar theme that reinforce use of the term. 
To date, tests measuring EI have not replaced IQ tests as a standard metric of intelligence. Emotional intelligence has also received criticism on its role in leadership and business success. The distinction between trait emotional intelligence and ability emotional intelligence was introduced in 2000. Topic: Definitions. Emotional intelligence has been defined as the ability to monitor one's own and other people's emotions, to discriminate between different emotions and label them appropriately, and to use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior." By Peter Salovey and John Mayer. This definition was later broken down and refined into four proposed abilities, perceiving, using, understanding, and managing emotions. These abilities are distinct yet related. Emotional intelligence also reflects abilities to join intelligence, empathy and emotions to enhance thought and understanding of interpersonal dynamics. However, substantial disagreement exists regarding the definition of EI, with respect to both terminology and operationalisms. Currently, there are three main models of EI. Ability model Mixed model usually subsumed under trait EI Trait model Different models of EI have led to the development of various instruments for the assessment of the construct. While some of these measures may overlap, most researchers agree that they tap different constructs. Specific ability models address the ways in which emotions facilitate thought and understanding. For example, emotions may interact with thinking and allow people to be better decision makers a person who is more responsive emotionally to crucial issues will attend to the more crucial aspects of his or her life. Aspects of emotional facilitation factor is to also know how to include or exclude emotions from thought depending on context and situation. This is also related to emotional reasoning and understanding in response to the people, environment and circumstances one encounters in his or her day-to-day -day life. Topic. Ability model Salovey and Mayer's conception of EI strives to define EI within the confines of the standard criteria for a new intelligence. Following their continuing research, their initial definition of EI was revised to the ability to perceive emotion, integrate emotion to facilitate thought, understand emotions, and to regulate emotions to promote personal growth. However, after pursuing further research, their definition of EI evolved into the capacity to reason about emotions, and of emotions, to enhance thinking. It includes the abilities to accurately perceive emotions, to access and generate emotions so as to assist thought, to understand emotions and emotional knowledge, and to reflectively regulate emotions so as to promote emotional and intellectual growth. The ability-based model views emotions as useful sources of information that help one to make sense of and navigate the social environment. The model proposes that individuals vary in their ability to process information of an emotional nature and in their ability to relate emotional processing to a wider cognition. This ability is seen to manifest itself in certain adaptive behaviors. The model claims that EI includes four types of abilities. Perceiving emotions, the ability to detect and decipher emotions in faces, pictures, voices, and cultural artifacts, including the ability to identify one's own emotions. Perceiving emotions represents a basic aspect of emotional intelligence, as it makes all other processing of emotional information possible. Using emotions, the ability to harness emotions to facilitate various cognitive activities, such as thinking and problem solving. The emotionally intelligent person can capitalize fully upon his or her changing moods in order to best fit the task at hand. Understanding emotions, the ability to comprehend emotion language and to appreciate complicated relationships among emotions. 
For example, understanding emotions encompasses the ability to be sensitive to slight variations between emotions, and the ability to recognize and describe how emotions evolve over time. Managing emotions, the ability to regulate emotions in both ourselves and in others. Therefore, the emotionally intelligent person can harness emotions, even negative ones, and manage them to achieve intended goals. The ability AI model has been criticized in the research for lacking face and predictive validity in the workplace. However, in terms of construct validity, ability AI tests have great advantage over self-report scales of AI because they compare individual maximal performance to standard performance scales and do not rely on individuals' endorsement of descriptive statements about themselves. Topic: <laughs> Measurement The current measure of Mayer and Salovey's model of EI, the Mayer Salovey Caruso Emotional Intelligence Test, is based on a series of emotion based problem solving items. Consistent with the model's claim of EI as a type of intelligence, the test is modeled on ability based IQ tests. By testing a person's abilities on each of the four branches of emotional intelligence, it generates scores for each of the branches as well as a total score. Central to the four-branch model is the idea that EI requires attunement to social norms. Therefore, the MSCEIT is scored in a consensus fashion, with higher scores indicating higher overlap between an individual's answers and those provided by a worldwide sample of respondents. The MSCEIT can also be expert scored, so that the amount of overlap is calculated between an individual's answers and those provided by a group of 21 emotion researchers. Although promoted as an ability test, the MSCEIT is unlike standard IQ tests in that its items do not have objectively correct responses. Among other challenges, the consensus scoring criterion means that it is impossible to create items questions that only a minority of respondents can solve, because, by definition, responses are deemed emotionally intelligent only if the majority of the sample has endorsed them. This and other similar problems have led some cognitive ability experts to question the definition of EI as a genuine intelligence. In a study by Follisdal, the MSCEIT test results of 111 business leaders were compared with how their employees described their leader. It was found that there were no correlations between a leader's test results and how he or she was rated by the employees, with regard to empathy, ability to motivate, and leader effectiveness. Follisdal also criticized the Canadian company Multi Health Systems, which administers the MSCEIT test. The test contains 141 questions but it was found after publishing the test that 19 of these did not give the expected answers. This has led Multi Health Systems to remove answers to these 19 questions before scoring but without stating this officially. Other measurements Various other specific measures have also been used to assess ability in emotional intelligence. These measures include Diagnostic analysis of non-verbal accuracy, the adult facial version includes 24 photographs of equal amount of happy, sad, angry, and fearful facial expressions of both high and low intensities which are balanced by gender. The tasks of the participants is to answer which of the four emotions is present in the given stimuli. Japanese and Caucasian brief effect recognition test participants try to identify 56 faces of Caucasian and Japanese individuals expressing seven emotions such happiness, contempt, disgust, sadness, anger, surprise, and fear, which may also trail off for 0.2 seconds to a different emotion. Levels of emotional awareness scale – Participants reads 26 social scenes and answers their anticipated feelings and continuum of low to high emotional awareness. Topic mixed model The model introduced by Daniel Goleman focuses on EI as a wide array of competencies and skills that drive leadership performance. 
Goleman's model outlines five main EI constructs for more details see What Makes a Leader by Daniel Goleman, Best of Harvard Business Review 1998, Self-Awareness, The Ability to Know One's Emotions, Strengths, Weaknesses, Drives, Values and Goals and Recognize Their Impact on Others While Using Gut Feelings to Guide Decisions. Self-regulation, involves controlling or redirecting one's disruptive emotions and impulses and adapting to changing circumstances. Social skill, managing relationships to move people in the desired direction Empathy, considering other people's feelings especially when making decisions Motivation, being driven to achieve for the sake of achievement Goleman includes a set of emotional competencies within each construct of EI. Emotional competencies are not innate talents, but rather learned capabilities that must be worked on and can be developed to achieve outstanding performance. Goleman posits that individuals are born with a general emotional intelligence that determines their potential for learning emotional competencies. Goleman's model of EI has been criticized in the research literature as mere pop psychology Mayer, Roberts, and Barsade, 2008. Topic. Measurement Two measurement tools are based on the Goleman model The Emotional Competency Inventory ECI, which was created in 1999, and the Emotional and Social Competency Inventory ESCI, a newer edition of the ECI was developed in 2007. The Emotional and Social Competency, University Edition ESCIU, is also available. These tools developed by Goleman and Boyatzis provide a behavioral measure of the emotional and social competencies. The Emotional Intelligence Appraisal, which was created in 2001 and which can be taken as a self-report or 360-degree assessment. Topic. Trait model Konstantinos Vasilis Petrides K. V. Petrides, proposed a conceptual distinction between the ability-based model and a trait-based model of EI and has been developing the latter over many years in numerous publications. Trait EI is a constellation of emotional self-perceptions located at the lower levels of personality. In lay terms, trait EI refers to an individual's self-perceptions of their emotional abilities. This definition of EI encompasses behavioral dispositions and self-perceived abilities and is measured by self-report, as opposed to the ability-based model which refers to actual abilities, which have proven highly resistant to scientific measurement. Trait EI should be investigated within a personality framework. An alternative label for the same construct is trait emotional self-efficacy. The trait EI model is general and subsumes the Goleman model discussed above. The conceptualization of EI as a personality trait leads to a construct that lies outside the taxonomy of human cognitive ability. This is an important distinction in as much as it bears directly on the operationalism of the construct and the theories and hypotheses that are formulated about it. Topic: <laughs> Measurement. There are many self-report measures of EI, including the EQI, the Swinburne University Emotional Intelligence Test (SUEIT), and the Shutt EI model. None of these assess intelligence, abilities, or skills as their authors often claim, but rather, they are limited measures of trait emotional intelligence. The most widely used and widely researched measure of self-report or self-schema as it is currently referred to emotional intelligence is the EQI 2.0. Originally known as the Baron EQI, it was the first self report measure of emotional intelligence available, the only measure predating Goleman's best selling book. There are over 200 studies that have used the EQI or EQI 2.0. It has the best norms, reliability, and validity of any self report instrument and was the first one reviewed in Burroughs' Mental Measures book. 
The EQI 2.0 is available in many different languages as it is used worldwide. The TEAT provides an operationalism for the model of Petrides and colleagues, that conceptualizes EI in terms of personality. The test encompasses 15 subscales organized under four factors, well-being, self-control, emotionality, and sociability. The psychometric properties of the TEAC were investigated in a study on a French-speaking population, where it was reported that TEAC scores were globally normally distributed and reliable. The researchers also found TEAC scores were unrelated to nonverbal reasoning, Raven's matrices, which they interpreted as support for the personality trait view of EI as opposed to a form of intelligence. As expected, TEAC scores were positively related to some of the big five personality traits extroversion, agreeableness, openness, conscientiousness as well as inversely related to others alexithymia, neuroticism. A number of quantitative genetic studies have been carried out within the trait EI model, which have revealed significant genetic effects and heritabilities for all trait EI scores. Two recent studies one a meta-analysis involving direct comparisons of multiple EI tests yielded very favorable results for the TEAC. <laughs> <laughs> General effects A review published in the Journal of Annual Psychology found that higher emotional intelligence is positively correlated with Better social relations for children. Among children and teens, emotional intelligence positively correlates with good social interactions, relationships, and negatively correlates with deviance from social norms. Antisocial behavior measured both in and out of school is reported by children themselves, their own family members, as well as their teachers. Better social relations for adults, high emotional intelligence among adults is correlated with better self-perception of social ability and more successful interpersonal relationships while less interpersonal aggression and problems. Highly emotionally intelligent individuals are perceived more positively by others, other individuals perceive those with high EI to be more pleasant, socially skilled and empathic to be around. Better family and intimate relationships, high EI is correlated with better relationships with the family and intimate partners on many aspects. Better academic achievement, emotional intelligence is correlated with greater achievement in academics as reported by teachers but generally not higher grades once the factor of IQ is taken into account. Better social relations during work performance and in negotiations, higher emotional intelligence is correlated with better social dynamics at work as well as better negotiating ability. Better psychological well-being, emotional intelligence is positively correlated with higher life satisfaction, self-esteem and lower levels of insecurity or depression. It is also negatively correlated with poor health choices and behavior. Allows for self compassion. Emotionally intelligent individuals are more likely to have a better understanding of themselves, and to make conscious decisions based on emotion and rationale combined. Overall, it leads a person to self actualization. <laughs> <laughs> Criticisms of theoretical foundation Topic. Cannot be recognized as form of intelligence Goleman's early work has been criticized for assuming from the beginning that EI is a type of intelligence or cognitive ability. Asenk 2000 writes that Goleman's description of EI contains unsubstantiated assumptions about intelligence in general, and that it even runs contrary to what researchers have come to expect when studying types of intelligence. Goleman exemplifies more clearly than most the fundamental absurdity of the tendency to class almost any type of behavior as an intelligence. 
if these five abilities define emotional intelligence, we would expect some evidence that they are highly correlated. Goleman admits that they might be quite uncorrelated, and in any case, if we cannot measure them, how do we know they are related? So the whole theory is built on quicksand, there is no sound scientific basis. Similarly, Locke 2005 claims that the concept of EI is in itself a misinterpretation of the intelligence construct, and he offers an alternative interpretation, it is not another form or type of intelligence, but intelligence—the ability to grasp abstractions—applied to a particular life domain, emotions. He suggests the concept should be re-labeled and referred to as a skill. The essence of this criticism is that scientific inquiry depends on valid and consistent construct utilization, and that before the introduction of the term EI, psychologists had established theoretical distinctions between factors such as abilities and achievements, skills and habits, attitudes and values, and personality traits and emotional states. Thus, some scholars believe that the term EI merges and conflates such accepted concepts and definitions. Topic: <laughs> Confusing skills with moral qualities. Adam Grant warned of the common but mistaken perception of EI as a desirable moral quality rather than a skill, Grant asserting that a well-developed EI is not only an instrumental tool for accomplishing goals, but has a dark side as a weapon for manipulating others by robbing them of their capacity to reason. <laughs> has little predictive value Landy 2005 claimed that the few incremental validity studies conducted on EI have shown that it adds little or nothing to the explanation or prediction of some common outcomes most notably academic and work success. Landy suggested that the reason why some studies have found a small increase in predictive validity is a methodological fallacy, namely, that alternative explanations have not been completely considered. EI is compared and contrasted with a measure of abstract intelligence but not with a personality measure, or with a personality measure but not with a measure of academic intelligence." Landy 2005. Similarly, other researchers have raised concerns about the extent to which self-report EI measures correlate with established personality dimensions. Generally, self-report EI measures and personality measures have been said to converge because they both purport to measure personality traits. Specifically, there appear to be two dimensions of the Big Five that stand out as most related to self-report EI, neuroticism and extroversion. In particular, neuroticism has been said to relate to negative emotionality and anxiety. Intuitively, individuals scoring high on neuroticism are likely to score low on self-report EI measures. The interpretations of the correlations between EI questionnaires and personality have been varied. The prominent view in the scientific literature is the trait EI view, which reinterprets EI as a collection of personality traits. Topic. Criticisms of measurement <laughs> Topic. Ability model Topic. Measures conformity, not ability One criticism of the works of Mayer and Salovey comes from a study by Roberts et al. 2001, which suggests that the EI, as measured by the MSCEIT, may only be measuring conformity. This argument is rooted in the MSCEIT's use of consensus-based assessment, and in the fact that scores on the MSCEIT are negatively distributed meaning that its scores differentiate between people with low EI better than people with high EI. Topic. Measures knowledge, not ability 
Further criticism has been leveled by Brody 2004, who claimed that unlike tests of cognitive ability, the MSCEIT tests knowledge of emotions but not necessarily the ability to perform tasks that are related to the knowledge that is assessed. The main argument is that even though someone knows how he or she should behave in an emotionally laden situation, it doesn't necessarily follow that the person could actually carry out the reported behavior. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Measures personality and general intelligence. New research is surfacing that suggests that ability EI measures might be measuring personality in addition to general intelligence. These studies examined the multivariate effects of personality and intelligence on EI and also corrected estimates for measurement error which is often not done in some validation studies site source. For example, a study by Schulte, Re, Coretta 2004, showed that general intelligence measured with the Wunderlich personnel test, agreeableness measured by the Neo Pi, as well as gender could reliably be used to predict the measure of EI ability. They gave a multiple correlation R of 0.81 with the MSCEIT perfect prediction would be 1. This result has been replicated by Fiori and Antonakis 2011, they found a multiple R of 76 using Cattell's Culture Fair intelligence test and the Big Five Inventory BFI. significant covariates were intelligence standardized beta. Topic. Point three nine agreeableness standardized beta. 54 and openness standardized beta topic 0.46 Antonakis and Dietz 2011a who investigated the ability emotional intelligence measure found similar results multiple r 69 with significant predictors being intelligence standardized beta Topic. Point six nine. Using the swaps test and a Wechsler scales subtest, the forty-item general knowledge task and empathy standardized beta. Point two six. Using the questionnaire measure of empathic tendency, see also Antonakis and Dietz two o one one b, who show how including or excluding important controls variables can fundamentally change results. Thus, it is important to always include important controls like personality and intelligence when examining the predictive validity of ability and trait EI models. Section Topic self report measures susceptible to faking more formally termed socially desirable responding SDR faking good is defined as a response pattern in which test takers systematically represent themselves with an excessive positive bias Paulus 2002 this bias has long been known to contaminate responses on personality inventories. Holt Graves, 2004, McFarland and Ryan, 2000, Peebles and Moore, 1998, Nichols and Green, 1997, Zerby and Paulus, 1987, acting as a mediator of the relationships between self report measures. Nichols and Green, 1997, Gangster et al., 1983. It has been suggested that responding in a desirable way is a response set, which is a situational and temporary response pattern Pauls and Cross, 2004, Paulus, 1991. This is contrasted with a response style, which is a more long-term trait like quality. Considering the context some self-report EI inventories are used in e.g., employment settings, the problems of response sets in high-stakes scenarios become clear Paulus and Reed, 2001. There are a few methods to prevent socially desirable responding on behavior inventories. Some researchers believe it is necessary to warn test takers not to fake good before taking a personality test e.g., McFarland, 2003. 
Some inventories use validity scales in order to determine the likelihood or consistency of the responses across all items. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Predictive power unsubstantiated. Landy distinguishes between the commercial wing and the academic wing of the EI movement, basing this distinction on the alleged predictive power of EI as seen by the two currents. According to Landy, the former makes expansive claims on the applied value of EI, while the latter is trying to warn users against these claims. As an example, Goleman asserts that the most effective leaders are alike in one crucial way, they all have a high degree of what has come to be known as emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the sign qua non of leadership. In contrast, Mayer cautions, the popular literature's implication that highly emotionally intelligent people possess an unqualified advantage in life appears overly enthusiastic at present and unsubstantiated by reasonable scientific standards." Landy further reinforces this argument by noting that the data upon which these claims are based are held in "...proprietary databases", which means they are unavailable to independent researchers for reanalysis, replication, or verification. Thus, the credibility of the findings cannot be substantiated in a scientific way, unless those datasets are made public and available for independent analysis. In an academic exchange, Antonakis and Ashkenazi, Dasbara mostly agreed that researchers testing whether EI matters for leadership have not done so using robust research designs, therefore, currently there is no strong evidence showing that EI predicts leadership outcomes when accounting for personality and IQ. Antonakis argued that EI might not be needed for leadership effectiveness, he referred to this as the curse of emotion. Phenomenon, because leaders who are too sensitive to their and others' emotional states might have difficulty making decisions that would result in emotional labor for the leader or followers. A recently published meta analysis seems to support the Antonakis position. In fact, Harms and Crede found that overall, and using data free from problems of common source and common methods, EI measures correlated only rho. Topic 0.11 with measures of transformational leadership. Ability measures of EI fared worst, i.e., Rho. 0.04, the WLEIS Wong Law measure did a bit better, Rho. Topic 0.08, and the bar on measure better still, Rho. 0.18. However, the validity of these estimates does not include the effects of IQ or the Big Five personality, which correlate both with EI measures and leadership. In a subsequent paper analyzing the impact of EI on both job performance and leadership, Harms and Crede found that the meta-analytic validity estimates for EI dropped to zero when Big Five traits and IQ were controlled for. Joseph and Newman Meta analytically showed the same result for Ability EI. However, it is important to note that self-reported and trait EI measures retain a fair amount of predictive validity for job performance after controlling Big Five traits and IQ. Newman, Joseph, and Macken contend that the greater predictive validity of trait EI measures is due to their inclusion of content related to achievement motivation, self-efficacy, and self-rated performance. Meta-analytic evidence confirms that self-reported emotional intelligence predicting job performance is due to mixed EI and trait EI measures tapping into self-efficacy and self-rated performance, in addition to the domains of neuroticism, extroversion, conscientiousness, and IQ. As such, the predictive ability of mixed EI to job performance drops to nil when controlling for these factors. Topic. NICHD pushes for consensus 
The National Institute of Child Health and Human Development has recognized that because there are divisions about the topic of emotional intelligence, the mental health community needs to agree on some guidelines to describe good mental health and positive mental living conditions. In the section, Positive Psychology and the Concept of Health, they explain. Currently there are six competing models of positive health, which are based on concepts such as being above normal, character strengths and core virtues, developmental maturity, social-emotional intelligence, subjective well-being, and resilience. But these concepts define health in philosophical rather than empirical terms. Dr. Lawrence Becker suggested the need for a consensus on the concept of positive psychological health. <laughs> Interactions with other phenomena Bullying <laughs> 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 Bullying is abusive social interaction between peers which can include aggression, harassment, and violence. Bullying is typically repetitive and enacted by those who are in a position of power over the victim. A growing body of research illustrates a significant relationship between bullying and emotional intelligence. They also have shown that emotional intelligence is a key factor in the analysis of cases of cybervictimization. By demonstrating a relevant impact on health and social adaptation. Emotional intelligence (EI) is a set of abilities related to the understanding, use and management of emotion as it relates to oneself and others. Mayer et al. 2008 defines the dimensions of overall EI as accurately perceiving emotion, using emotions to facilitate thought, understanding emotion, and managing emotion." The concept combines emotional and intellectual processes. Lower emotional intelligence appears to be related to involvement in bullying, as the bully and or the victim of bullying. EI seems to play an important role in both bullying behavior and victimization in bullying. Given that EI is illustrated to be malleable, EI education could greatly improve bullying prevention and intervention initiatives. Topic job performance Research of EI and job performance shows mixed results. A positive relation has been found in some of the studies, while in others there was no relation or an inconsistent one. This led researchers Cote and Miners to offer a compensatory model between EI and IQ, that posits that the association between EI and job performance becomes more positive as cognitive intelligence decreases, an idea first proposed in the context of academic performance Petrides, Fredrickson, and Furnham, 2004. The results of the former study supported the compensatory model. Employees with low IQ get higher task performance and organizational citizenship behavior directed at the organization, the higher their EI. It has also been observed that there is no significant link between emotional intelligence and work attitude behavior. A more recent study suggests that EI is not necessarily a universally positive trait. They found a negative correlation between EI and managerial work demands, while under low levels of managerial work demands, they found a negative relationship between EI and teamwork effectiveness. An explanation for this may suggest gender differences in EI, as women tend to score higher levels than men. This furthers the idea that job context plays a role in the relationships between EI, teamwork effectiveness, and job performance. Another find was discussed in a study that assessed a possible link between EI and entrepreneurial behaviors and success. Although studies between emotional intelligence (EI) and job performance has shown mixed results of high and low correlations, EI is undeniably better predictor than most of the hiring methods commonly used in companies such as letter of references, cover letter, among others. By 2008, 147 companies and consulting firms in U.S. had developed programs that involved EI for training and hiring employees. 
Van Rooy and Visesvaren showed that EI correlated significantly with different domains in performance, ranging from 0.24 for job performance to 0.10 for academic performance. These findings may contribute organizations in different ways. For instance, employees high on EI would be more aware of their own emotions and from others, which in turn, could lead companies to better profits and less unnecessary expenses. This is especially important for expatriate managers, who have to deal with mixed emotions and feelings, while adapting to a new working culture. Moreover, employees high in EI show more confidence in their roles, which allow them to face demanding tasks positively. According to a popular science book by the journalist Daniel Goleman, emotional intelligence accounts for more career success than IQ. Similarly, other studies argued that employees high on EI perform substantially better than employees low in EI. This measured by self-reports and different work performance indicators, such as wages, promotions and salary increase. According to Lopes and his colleagues 2006, EI contributes to develop strong and positive relationships with co-workers and perform efficiently in work teams. This benefits performance of workers by providing emotional support and instrumental resources needed to succeed in their roles. Also, emotional intelligent employees have better resources to cope with stressing situations and demanding tasks, which enable them to outperform in those situations. For instance, Laura et al. 2004 found that EI was the best predictor of job performance beyond general cognitive ability among IT scientists in computer company in China. Similarly, C. Tram, and O'Hara found that EI was associated positively with job performance in employees from a food service company. In the job performance, emotional intelligence correlation is important to consider the effects of managing up, which refers to the good and positive relationship between the employee and his, her supervisor. Previous research found that quality of this relationship could interfere in the results of the subjective rating of job performance evaluation. Emotional intelligent employees devote more of their working time on managing their relationship with supervisors. Hence, the likelihood of obtaining better results on performance evaluation is greater for employees high in EI than for employees with low EI. Based on theoretical and methodological approaches, EI measures are categorized in three main streams. 1. Stream 1, ability-based measures, e.g. MSCEIT. 2. Stream 2, self-reports of abilities measures, e.g. SREIT, SUEIT and WLEIS, and 3. Stream 3, mixed models, e.g. AES, ECI, EI questionnaire, EIS, EQI and GENOS, which include measures of EI and traditional social skills. O'Boyle Jr. and his colleagues 2011 found that the three EI streams together had a positive correlation of 0.28 with job performance. Similarly, each of EI streams independently obtained a positive correlation of 0.24, 0.30 and 0.28, respectively. Stream 2 and 3 showed an incremental validity for predicting job performance over and above personality five-factor model and general cognitive ability. Both, Stream 2 and 3 were the second most important predictor of job performance below general cognitive ability. Stream 2 explained 13.6% of the total variance, whereas Stream 3, explained 13.2%. In order to examine the reliability of these findings, a publication bias analysis was developed. Results indicated that studies on EI job performance correlation prior to 2010 do not present substantial evidences to suggest the presence of publication bias. Despite the validity of previous findings, some researchers still question whether EI, job performance correlation makes a real impact on business strategies. They argue that popularity of emotional intelligence's studies is due to media advertising, rather than objective scientific findings. Also, it is mentioned that relationship between job performance and EI is not as strong as suggested. 
This relationship requires the presence of other constructs to rise important outcomes. For instance, previous studies found that EI is positively associated with teamwork effectiveness under job contexts of high managerial work demands, which improves job performance. This is due to activation of strong emotions during performance on this job context. In this scenario, emotional intelligent individuals show a better set of resources to succeed on their roles. However, individuals with high EI show a similar level of performance than non-emotional intelligent employees under different job contexts. Moreover, Joseph and Newman 2010 suggested that emotional perception and emotional regulation components of EI highly contribute to job performance under job contexts of high emotional demands. Moon and Her 2011 found that emotional exhaustion burnout significantly influences the job performance EI relationship. Emotional exhaustion showed a negative association with two components of EI optimism and social skills. This association impacted negatively to job performance as well. Hence, job performance EI relationship is stronger under contexts of high emotional exhaustion or burnout. In other words, employees with high levels of optimism and social skills possess better resources to outperform when facing high emotional exhaustion contexts. Topic. Health A 2007 meta-analysis of 44 effect sizes by Schutt found that emotional intelligence was associated with better mental and physical health. Particularly, trait EI had the stronger association with mental and physical health. This was replicated again in 2010 by researcher Alexandra Martin who found trait EI as a strong predictor for health after conducting a meta-analysis based on 105 effect sizes and 19,815 participants. This meta-analysis also indicated that this line of research reached enough sufficiency and stability in concluding EI as a positive predictor for health. Self-esteem and drug dependence A 2012 study cross-examined emotional intelligence, self-esteem and marijuana dependence. Out of a sample of 200, 100 of whom were dependent on cannabis and the other 100 emotionally healthy, the dependent group scored exceptionally low on EI when compared to the control group. They also found that the dependent group also scored low on self-esteem when compared to the control. Another study in 2010 examined whether or not low levels of EI had a relationship with the degree of drug and alcohol addiction. In the assessment of 103 residents in a drug rehabilitation center, they examined their EI along with other psychosocial factors in a one-month interval of treatment. They found that participants' EI scores improved as their levels of addiction lessened as part of their treatment. Utilization It has been noted that having EI as a skill can increase one's own well-being. In other words, individuals who are conscious of the emotions of themselves and others have the privilege of enhancing relationships. It also allows people to see the multiple perspectives of a given situation, and acknowledge others' feelings about the event. See also